This meeting is being recorded. All right. All right, so here we go. We'll start it off. Well, it's always nice to welcome this guest uh, to our microphones and our studios here at Robin Hood Radio. That is Fabio Witkowski. And we have uh, something great to talk about, and that is the kickoff of the winter season of the Hotchkiss Philharmonic. Uh, Fabio, welcome back, and it's great to, great to hear from you. Hi, Marshall. Great being here with you, with our friends from WHCD. Always a pleasure to speak about the wonderful concerts happening at Hotchkiss. Well, it's uh, it's funny. Uh, you, the press release says winter season. We haven't had much of a winter, but this is still a hell of a nice way to kick it off on February 18th at 7.30. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what this first opening concert of the season will be. Absolutely well. And it's great to have a season, right? I mean, we're still <laughs> celebrating the return to a first full season. So things here at Hodgkins have been very busy. I mean, before we talk about that concert, just always wonderful to remind uh, everyone, like we, uh, a few weeks ago, well, last Friday, uh, on January 27th, we finally resumed our concerts at New York's uh, Can Carnegie Hall. We have had a group of 21 students performing a gorgeous concert while recital hall at Carnegie, uh, and now continuing our concerts uh, now here locally in our beautiful Elfers Hall on February 18th, as you mentioned, 7.30 p.m. Uh, we'll have the continuation of the Hotchkiss Philharmonic. For those who don't know, this is a great um, opportunity for our students and community. Basically, uh, we invite our 20, 30 most excellent students to perform uh, alongside professionals. We have people from Hartford Symphony, New Haven, sometimes New York, sometimes even Boston. These are world-class professionals who come uh, really share the stand and, and play together with our students. So that's a, a really incredible opportunity for our students, almost like a professional academy for them. They do two rehearsals with the pros and the concert. Um, and of course, great for our community because these are beautiful concerts, high level uh, concerts. And in addition, on top of all that, we of course invite guest performers and, uh, and conductors. For this concert, it's a really, really special one. Um, the legendary, true, uh, it's so fitting to call Oksania Blonskaya legendary. This um, phenomenal pianist was born in Russia. She left uh, the country in the 70s, in the middle of the Cold War. Uh, I mean, I've been to her house, I've seen letters from uh, Leonard Bernstein, from uh, Catherine Hepburn, from uh, Elie Wiesel, uh, asking like the, 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 the Russian government, please let her leave. And then she finally left, spent some time in Italy, came to United States where she had a glorious Carnegie Hall debut, taught at Juilliard School for about 30 years. She now lives in, in Jerusalem. Um, and she's really, she's 84 years old and she's going to be playing two piano concerti in this concert. To get things even nicer, more special, her son, who's an incredible cellist and very important conductor, he's the one who's going to be conducting, Dmitry Ablonsky. And just to have a little more personal fun in this, because Oksana, I've known her since I'm like 14, 15 years old. Um, Giselle and I, will be playing one of the only pieces in the repertoire for piano four hands and orchestra. So the concert will be Oksana starting with the gorgeous, very happy Mozart uh, concerto in A major, Kershaw 48. Then Giselle and I will share the stage uh, with the Czerny piano concerto for four hands, very rarely performed piece. Uh, I think in Connecticut, maybe one of the very first times uh, this piece was performed in the United States for the first time in the 60s. So you get how it's a rarely heard piece. And then we finish with the glorious Beethoven's fourth piano concerto in G major, again, Oksana uh, on the piano. So very special night. I hope folks will come and enjoy this beautiful selection of three piano concerto with the Hotchkiss Philharmonic. You know, we're talking with Fabio Witkowski. And once again, this concert is uh, Saturday, uh, February 18th at 7.30 at Elfers Hall at the Esther Eastman Music Center. And once again, uh, amazing. Uh, you get to see this incredible world-class talent along with the students. It's free and open to the public. No reservations. Seating is done on a first-come, first-served basis. It's really, a, for, for a lot of people, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see something uh, like this, Fabio. 
Absolutely. I mean, that was one of the purpose of the Philharmonic, not only to give us, uh, uh, to, to give our students this opportunity to make music in the highest level. And again, it's so nice to see these youngsters just getting, I mean, just as fun and, 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 and touching as the performance is the whole process. They understand like, whoa, this is hard music. I have to, to practice. I have to, you know, just like a Berlin Philharmonic player, you know, it takes a lifetime to learn and to keep perfecting it. So that process is incredible. But also to have uh, this kind of high level music making, symphonic music making uh, in our beautiful little corner of, uh, of our state, that's, that's really nice. Um, then on April we'll have then, I mean this, because it's all music basically from the classical period will be Mozart, Beethoven, the orchestra, uh, the orchestration is a little smaller, uh, but again, equally gorgeous, just a little more intimate setting. And then our concert in, on April 22nd, Second, that will be the final one for this year's uh, for this season. There will be a massive. There will be some crazy big orchestral pieces. There's some Brazilian music I'm bringing to the repertoire as well. So uh, I'm sure we'll be talking again at some time in early April about that concert. But for now, I hope folks will join us on uh, February 18th, Saturday night, 7:30, uh, and come enjoy some beautiful Mozart, Czerny, and Beethoven with us by truly amazing musicians. Fabulous. It's always great to talk with you. We look forward again and uh, have uh, have fun and good luck with this concert. Thank you, Marshall. It's a great pleasure speaking with you and our friends at WHDD. Perfect. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you, Marshall. We keep sending good thoughts uh, and energy for a quick recovery and look forward to seeing you again soon. Okay. Thanks, Fabio. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you so much, Marshall. Bye-bye.